Tonight, there is a new legal push to stop a controversial settlement deal involving the 101 Ash Street building. Former city attorney Mike Aguirre is representing the taxpayer who wants to stop the city settlement deal. And today, Aguirre shared just how they plan to do that. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes was at the news conference today and joins us now with the details. Kirsten. Hey there, Marcella. I'm live here at 101 Ash Street. I want you to see this building at the center of this controversy where millions of taxpayer dollars are on the line. Now, the city says they're stuck between a rock and a hard place with the deal, and they want to stop taxpayer dollars from going to a lengthy lawsuit. Meanwhile, critics of the deal say it was illegal from the start. You cannot incur a debt today and provide for that debt to be paid in later years unless two-thirds of the voters approve it. We will seek a immediately temporary restraining order to stop the illegal payment. That's why former city attorney Mike Aguirre says he will do what it takes to stop the settlement of 101 Ash Street. Aguirre and his partner Maria Severson railed against Mayor Todd Gloria's push to settle two city lawsuits that look to void the contract that the city entered into in 2016 to buy the empty asbestos-laden building. It's also not fair. It is not fair to make taxpayers responsible for paying for an uninhabitable building. Bring it to the court to get a judgment declaring the transaction void from the start. If all those things happen, it would then set the stage for everybody to sit down and have meaningful settlement negotiations so that the pain could be spread more equitably amongst all the players. Eggedy didn't offer specifics about how to ensure the court case would meet his proposed end for the city's litigation. He and Severson warned that they will file a restraining order against the city if the council approves the settlement at a July 26 hearing, despite Eggedy's long-standing relationship with Mayor Gloria. Our mayor, no matter what anybody says, is not a bad person. He's not dishonest. He's not corrupt. But he is inexperienced in matters like this. City Council Chairman Sean Elo Rivera says he supports Mayor Gloria's plan to settle the cases. Our job in leadership is to make difficult decisions to ultimately move the city in a better direction. And I think the proposed settlement does that because it provides the city certainty. We uh, gain control of our own destiny in a way that we currently don't. Nick Serrano, the mayor's deputy chief of staff, sent us a statement that says in part, quote, even if the city did litigate to the bitter end, as Mr. Aguirre is suggesting and was successful in court, we would still be required to complete the repairs to the botched remodel of 101 Ash Street. This would mean the city has nothing to show for years of suffering from this failed acquisition. Now the ball is now in the city's court on this. They have a vote on July 26 to determine what to do on the building settlement. Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. Thank you, Kirsten.